Physicians who are not all that acquainted with Gaucher disease are not likely to make a diagnosis even when they're confronted with a patient with classical symptoms. That's even more so if the patient doesn't have a typical presentation. So we still encounter patients who are having splenectomies done unnecessarily because they present to a hematologist with an enlarged spleen and have the splenectomy done as a diagnostic procedure. There are also patients who have delayed diagnosis because Gaucher disease is just not thought about. A patient that I saw today, in fact, was a very illustrative case because he presented with a bone fracture. He actually, in fact, had a coexistent disease called multiple myeloma, which is seen with a significant increase in patients with Gaucher disease. But the Gaucher disease was not diagnosed despite the fact that he had clear evidence of Gaucher cells in the bone marrow because the thinking was really directed at the myeloma. As a result, this patient's start of therapy for Gaucher disease, which may actually help his response in terms of the multiple myeloma, has been delayed. We're hoping, however, that with starting treatment now, some of that delay can be recaptured in the sense of making up for lost time.